Fennec is a desert fox, a cautious and secretive inhabitant of the desert. This animal is named after the Arabic fennec, which means fox. However, not all zoologists refer the fennec to the genus foxes, classifying it in a separate genus, Fennicus. However, significant differences with foxes, such as a smaller number of chromosomes, absence of musk glands, and sociality, are pointed out. The largest population of these amazing creatures inhabits the central Sahara. They are also found in the north of Morocco to the Sinai and Arabian peninsulas, and in the south of Chad, Sudan, and Niger. An adult animal with a long fluffy tail, up to 30 centimeters, is not more than 70 centimeters in size and 18 to 20 centimeters at the withers. At the same time, the animal weighs only about 1.5 kilograms. At the first sight of the animal, the ears of the fennec amaze you. These enormous ears, up to 15 centimeters, on the small head, big shining eyes, and sharp, thin muzzle with a long black mustache give the whole fox an unusually strange look. The ears are so mobile, and take such varied forms, that with each new position it seems that you see before you a new beast. The fennec would probably lose half of its charm without its amazing ears. The ears of the miniature fox, which can hear the slightest rustle of a bird or insect at a distance, cannot tolerate harsh sounds. In deserts, the fennec tries to keep to bushes of grass and other low vegetation. It lives in burrows. It chooses the place for them where plant roots bind sandy soil. Here the beast digs long passages in different directions. In the middle of these crossed passages, he makes his den. It loves coziness and warmth, so it covers its den with dry grasses, hairs, and even feathers. In such a den, he is safe from his enemies. The fennec fox, like most other desert dwellers, prefers coolness to heat. He spends the whole day in his nest and only in exceptional cases comes out of the burrow before dusk. During the scorching heat, it is stuffy even under the ground. Although desert chanterelles live in families, they prefer to hunt individually just like their congeners. While hunting, they rely on their hearing, eyesight, and sense of smell. These same senses serve the finch to warn of danger. The common fox, the polar fox or arctic fox, the corsac fox of the Asian steppes, the grey American fox, and the broad-nosed fox of southern Africa all have almost identical habits. Most foxes hunt by scent and then sneak up on their prey. And the fennec's acute hearing, eyesight, and sense of smell allow him to hunt not only birds and small animals, but even insects. His inaudible creeping footsteps allow him to catch the remotest, softest sounds on the move. If some fluctuation of air hits his ears, they widen in the direction of the noise. The desert fox pauses for a moment and then begins to approach even more cautiously in the direction of the noise. Its eyes pierce the thick darkness of the desert. 